Do you know what is terrifying? Going diving in the pitch black ocean by yourself with a tiny flashlight in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna go suit up and I'll catch you guys in the water. Choo! So it took me about a 30 minute swim in the darkness and then I finally started to find some monsters. I tried to grab this guy with my left hand, prying him off, but he just clamped on super hard. So I used my right hand to try and pry him off. And as I got him off, he grabs a hold of my light and flicks it off real quick. Look at the power of his tail. Nice fatty for sure. As I was approaching this one, I had a good feeling she was a female because her tail was curled. And then once I saw the eggs, automatic let go. This scary sea serpent just kept trying to bite me. I don't know what it is, but definitely had to give it the juke and swim away. I spot this nice sized bugger and I had to give him the quick one too. And off to the lobster bag he goes. Half of the battle is finding the lobsters and the other half is finding males. We gotta let all the females go so they can make plenty more. All stoked. I finally found another one and it's another pregnant lobster. I found this silly moo and I really wanted to poke them with the three prong, but I was pretty far out and I don't like poking fish at night. So I just threw him the shaka and blinded him for a quick minute and sent him on his way. All pumped, I found another one. Easy grab, just chilling on the side. But I spot the eggs, gotta let him go. I trap this guy into this hole and then he just shoots right out past me and smashes me in my face real quick. I haven't been having the best of luck, but I spot another one, and as I get near, he tries to juke me and goes to the other side thinking I can't get him. So I get to the other side, I grab him with the right hand, it's a male, he's a nice one, and now we are just flying through space together. Oof, I'd rather keep my head in the water. I spot this cool dragon eel, take a drop on him, and show him what it's like when the popo rolls up. Got some nice fatties though, super stoked. I'm gonna chef them up later and make some kilograms. What a freaking insane night of diving. Holy smokes, that was awesome. So glad I was able to come through. I just got the lobsters in the cooler and now I'm gonna go freaking hit the morning sesh. Choo, choo, choo! I noticed a Roy eating this dead taco and I took a drop to investigate and when I pulled out the taco I saw a nick in his brain something took a bite out of his head but as soon as I pulled the taco out there was a big uku that started to circle me 
And now I've been diving for about an hour and I haven't seen any ukus or anything. And this is pretty shallow. I'm in like 40 feet of water. I get down lower and you'll be able to see the uku on the top left corner here. I didn't realize, but my camera was pretty low. I go to intercept his path. I take a fat lunge on him, but I hit him kind of low and he rips off, unfortunately. Super bombed. But I got this nice taco for Palu. So I start chumming this guy up and I'm hoping more ukus will roll in or something delicious. I saw this big fat pile of moo come in, whacking the taco. So I took a drop and you can see some fatties. You can see that one fatty right there. I dropped the taco head hoping that it will just land right on top of me. And I noticed my tagline was wrapped around my leg, which I did not like at all. That's why I'm looking back up, I untangled it. It makes me kind of land on my back in a weird position, but you can see the taco drop and that moo just comes right in. And the moo goes down to grind the taco leg and I'm just laying here in like a really awkward position. I look in the back because there's a really fat moo that I wanted but he dipped out. How's that line bro? Safety first. Boom. Smash the moo. Grab my taco back so I can paw loose some more. And the moo went under this little coral head. I tried to pull him out but he was stuck and I didn't want to mess around so I just went back up to recover for air. Took a nice breathe up, got back down and untangled this little mess right here. I let him go last night, but today, ah, ole, all stoked. I love to fillet them and fry them up in butter, super crispy, delicioso. Nice little tangled mess here, but main thing, I got the muskies. I noticed there was a lot of Roy, so I grabbed my tree prong and I smash one right here, right down the pipe. I just love shooting these things with the tree prong. It's good to take these off the reef because they just whack everything. I made sure to keep the camera low so I could keep them PG-13. Smashed another one straight down the barrel. Now I'm a little deeper and I got plenty chum hoping some ukus or something crip will roll in but the only thing that rolls in is this and he scares the shit out of me. I look up and he literally is like touching me. These guys always creep up on me and give me the jump scare. I take one last drop here and I notice some moo and these two fat omilus. I should have took a dive bomb shot on him because I had an opportunity right here but I decided to send it to the bottom and see if they'd come in but they just dipped out and I lost my opportunity. <laughs> now it's time to get out of here and go stuff some lobster tails.
So I got the lobster, I got the moo and moonu, and my homie just flew in from Pepe Kale. I'm proud to introduce you to Master Chef Les. Hey, what's up you guys? We got these two beautiful lobster tails here that my homie caught. We got some crab meat and some shrimp. We're gonna go ahead and butterfly these and, and stuff them. They should turn out really well. So let's get this started. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab these scissors and you just cut right along the middle. So you wanna be really careful when you're pulling this out because you wanna get the whole meat out. Just like that. You want to rinse it with cold water to get all that salt water and all that all that shells out. So we got them nice and butterflied. Now we're gonna work on the stuffing. You want to crush the buttery round crackers, some diced onions, chopped garlic, crab meat. Some jumbo shrimp, it's up to you how much you want to put. And spices, chopped up parsley. You don't want to use too much mayo. Lemon zest. A little bit of lemon juice. Give it a quick mix. Put a little bit of butter on the lobster tails and place your finished stuffing on top of the lobster tails. All right, you guys, we got the stuffing on the lobster. We're gonna throw it in the oven at 420 for about 10 minutes. And yeah, we'll see how this turns out. So for the sauce, I use butter, garlic, salt, pepper, lemon juice, and heavy cream, olive oil, and white wine. Make sure to keep stirring to avoid sauce from breaking. That's very important. Get some stuffing on there. Okay. Mm. Oh man, it's so good. It's so like zesty, creamy. The lobster is cooked perfectly. It's not rubbery super like soft just so delicious well thanks for watching we're gonna freaking devour these two meals 
and watch the UFC fights. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Choo!